These are the top 10 tips to make a safari video. Today I'm going to be giving you the top 10 tips of how to make the perfect safari video. My name's Dean Parman, I'm in Kenya in the Masai Mara and you're watching TravelVids.tv. Let's get into it. The first thing and it's also probably the most important thing is that you need to commit to your story. Now you don't always know what you're going to encounter in the day when you're about to head out. So just give yourself some idea, maybe chat to your guide and say, listen, can we maybe try and see some elephants today? And then while you're out there and say, for example, you don't see elephants, then include that into your story. Just say, sort of, um, John, can we see some elephants? He's like, no, we can't see elephants. Then don't go, oh, my story's ruined. Just say to your camera, oh, well, you know, there, there are no elephants today, so what can we do? It, build on your story. Don't just give up when something doesn't work out. Commit to a story and keep making that video because you never know what might happen. Man, that was such an awesome time lapse, but the water was falling on the lens and we had to pack it up because if I had cleaned it, it would have smudged and it's all over. But I think we got something. It was great. It was great. Tip number two. Oh my god, so important. Power, power, power. You're going to need extra battery power, especially if you're going to be using your smartphone, your cell phone a lot. Uh, make sure that you have a battery bank, an extra cable just in case your first one breaks. You will need um, an adapter for the country that you're traveling in. If I didn't know if Klaus didn't bring a adapter for Kenya with, I wouldn't have had any power for my um, for my cameras so let me recap that again you've got to have power get your cell phone and extra battery bank charger cables and um, adapters for the car as well so that you can charge while you're on the go because sometimes you might stay out all day and you won't have the um, ability to go back to the camp to charge your batteries again so extra power super important tip number three like the photographers as we do in videography the angle to the subject. Your animals, you're going to want them at eye level as best and even better if you can get below them. Because anything that sort of is a little bit above looking down, your background's just going to be ground, it's going to be no sky, no horizon, and it just has an amateurish feel as opposed to being very, very professional and awesome looking when you're on that eye level. Tip four is about having extra capacity to store your footage. Uh, you cannot have enough on a safari trip. So this means bring with a second hard drive uh, that you can back up everything a second time. Try and keep those hard drives separate. So one hard drive is at the tent and one hard drive is with you. Uh, because yeah, things can go wrong when you travel. So make sure that you have that storage. This is a tip that I didn't know that I needed to talk about um, before I left and this is that you need to be able to pack things in the car. One, so that you're always ready to shoot when something happens and two, so that it doesn't fly around when you're driving down the bumpy road. So I have a cool Lopo backpack which I keep all my camera gear in usually which was completely useless when you're working from the back of a car because you have to sort of get in there and you can't pull out what you need. So it turns out that my suitcase was actually the best thing that we could do. So we put everything in the suitcase nice and open, put a towel on that so you can close it and zip it up when you're driving down the bumpy road. You see an animal, zip zip, and you grab what you need. Uh, tip number six is you have to have a good guide. A guide, somebody that you can first of all trust because you are dealing with some really dangerous situations sometimes. You're really, really, really within distance of a lion, you know, like this. And we have no idea how these animals react and behave. And so you need to know that your guide knows what he's talking about. And you can trust when they say, go closer, don't move, be quiet. 
Uh, second of all, a good guide will be well connected, he knows where the animals are. And third of all, your good guide is a great driver, they uh, don't get stuck in the mud. You are going to get stuck, but it's somebody who knows how to get themselves out of it. I'm going to take that moment to introduce the guide. This guide is a good, come stand up here. This guide is uh, John Mazek. Say hello, John. John Mazek. Ole Mazek from Masai Mara. From the Masai Mara. This is a very good friend of Klaus Tietke as well. They've been working together for about seven years already. So he has a very, very good understanding of how to work with videographers and photographers as well, which is like uber ultra cool when you're making videos in the bush. Thank you. Tschüss. Tschüss. Er spricht auch gut Deutsch. Number seven is just a quick one. Don't forget to get your reaction shots. When we arrive on a location where you see an animal, the first thing we do is like film, 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 film the animal. Don't forget to get the reaction of yourself. So turn the camera on yourself. Even if you're going to use your good DSLR camera to film the animal, then take your cell phone out and film yourself just going, I can't believe this is actually happening, you know. Share that emotion of what's happening in the moment so that there's more of a story about the animal that you've just spotted. These are the moments where I really, really enjoy photography. I mean, you're so close to the, to the animals and this environment. It's, yes. Number eight, you've got to repeat the shots again and again and again. Now this is something again in normal videography teaching I don't actually say. I, s I normally say get the shot, pack your phone away or pack your camera away and enjoy the moment. When you're going to be spending more time, like a lot of time doing a safari trip and you see a, um, you're driving along the road and you film it and then the next day you're like, oh, I've got the shot, do it again. This time, do it again. You don't know what's going to happen, what's going to come around the next corner. The weather might be different, your mood might be different, the shot might be different. So definitely just <laughs> film everything. And that's why I said have extra card space because this is just like, don't miss a moment. Tip number nine, just to add on to that, also remember that when you're doing these different scenes, keep a high shot variety. So let's take, for example, you're driving a car. Make sure that you get the camera from the front, from the side, from the top, from the inside, from the outside. Change that angle, get the shot variety as varied as possible. And also don't forget your special shots like time lapses, slow-mos, mix it up, get a good variety of things. Tip number 10, the last thing that I can add from the things that I've learned while I've been in the Masai Mara for the last three weeks is that you might be out all day, so pack everything that you need for the whole day. And this means sun cream, bug repellent spray. It means take extra snacks in case you're going to miss your lunch time or a, you can't cross a river and get back in time or you spotted an animal you do not want to leave. Make sure that you have some extra lunch snacks with you. It, it's really cool to also just stop and have tea out in the field rather than going back to the camp sometimes. The la uh, yeah, and also you never know what the weather's going to do. The weather might uh, go from like hot to cold. In fact, I'm still wearing my scarf because it was freezing this morning. Um, so scarf, beanie, and t-shirt. The weather changes constantly out in the safari land. Last thing, reserve your best and favorite shots for the morning and the evening. I think you're gonna hear that in every tip video you ever listen to or every video you ever watch. The best light is also definitely with your videos is going, are going to be your best shots. So reserve on your script list or your shot list, what do I wanna do? And then wait for the right time in the evening to get your best shots. Guys, I'm rushing through this because I want to get back into the field and film some more stuff. Thank you for watching. I hope these tips have been helpful. I didn't know most of this stuff, so I'm learning as I go. This has been a fantastic experience. Signing out, Dean Parman from the Masai Mara. Please subscribe to our channel, TravelVidStarTV, for more travel and video tips. This video is part of our documentary film, Safari of My Life, that we are making with fine art wildlife photographer, Klaus Tietke.
If you're into safari photography, go over and check out his channel as well, where we've posted loads more content about this trip for you to watch.